Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Mr. Elish and today we start a brand new themed run introducing Brynja, the picked wild child that we'll use to explore the new content of the new chapter. Is that a branch? No. Since Brynja here is a picked and she's kind of a wild child, we are going to set up some rules for this challenge run. We are going to stick to the theme as much as possible and we are going to follow Jebel Sag as our deity. We are going to have no human followers. We will not equip metals. We will not harvest metals. We can only use metals to make some very key and important workstations uh, because otherwise we would be limiting a lot this character. And we will only eat what we gather or hunt. So Jebel Sag is a big part of this chapter and it's going to be a big part of this playthrough as well. Okay, the only exception will be that we will allow ourselves to craft whatever items inside the Temple of Jebel Sag there are. I know that there's a weapon that requires star metal. We might not want to actually harvest the star metal, but I mean, we'll open a, an exception in terms of metal equipment for that one because it is from the Temple of Jebel Sag in terms of theme. I think it kind of justifies it. Okay, one thing I really need to address, and this one's a tough one, it's regarding my island survival playthrough. I recently lost one of my hard drives and it had almost fully edited episode and two recorded ones. And for this series, the recording was a lot of work because of all the characters and the editing as well. And losing it really, really struck me hard. I tried to retrace the steps and re-record what I lost, but my heart just wasn't in it. So I want to thank everyone that liked that series and that were supporting it. But unfortunately, I am going to abandon it. It was a really difficult decision to make. And I hope you guys understand. Uh, we'll return to our themed runs a bit more of a simple concept but with my busy schedule lately uh, it's basically the only thing I can deliver to you guys so I hope you understand and again it was with a heavy heart that I made that decision anyway I'm a bit distracted here I want to make some basic tools and some basic armors Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. What was I doing? We are going to be an agility based character. And I'm going to learn how to make daggers. Actually, can't I learn how to make the claw weapons? The claw weapons would be really cool. It's not a weapon I usually use, which is a plus. But we had the bone things right okay so by learning the the daggers we can see this okay we're going to craft some daggers and then once we get the bones we'll make the bone claws as well uh actually there's already a poor little baby here let's harvest him he gave us no bones mm-hmm gather some stone so we can make our daggers what do we need more some branches should be quite a bit of branches around here oh they fixed this right you can no longer gather things oh that's that kind of sucks all right fair enough fair enough it was kind of a buggy thing, but I, it's one of those bugs I liked. So. Okay, and for this we're going to need some bones. All right. Our plan is going to be to go there first. By going there, we will be able to learn the Ain armors. And we are going to continue heading north to our base location. Hopefully we'll get there in this episode. We are going to be gathering some resources along the way.
I also want to check the challenges, see if there's demonic rock nose, demonic crocodile, and demonic showbill. Okay, let's keep going. Another thing that we need to do is learn the religion of Jebel Zag as soon as we possibly can. That means going through the, the dungeon. It's going to be a tough one to get through early on. So we really need to come up with a plan. Oh, we want to tackle it. I think we are going to be able to use some potions as well. I think a Pict would know how to live off the land and making some some brews seems like one of the things they would have the knowledge to accomplish. We just passed the sinkhole. We are nearing the, the area where we want to get the in armor a recipe. I think it is a black end camp, and the black end camp is quite tough for a character this new, but we will try it. Yeah, if we go up that ramp over there. This was where Silas hid his army before attacking the, the Stygians, so we kind of know what's around here, more or less. Brynja doesn't know. She's completely oblivious of what she's going to find, although she is going to find exactly what she needs. Okay, here is the camp guy with the mice okay. all these guys are really taking turns in terms of getting aggro ouch Alright, this isn't going too badly. One guy is dead. Oh, we just got kicked in the face. Uh oh. Will he be waiting for me? Yep. Sure is. How are we going to play this, buddy? Are you going to be a, a douchebag about it? Yes, you definitely are. I just held on for my dear life there. Uh, I think he gave up already. Can go around once again. Uh, it would suck if we died right away. It's not going to be one of those hardcore runs where if we die we delete the character. It is just going to be kind of a simple one but of course we don't want to die. Have some tusks. Uh, is this kind of a metal-y thing? I think the median cap is. The black hand trousers I think it's more of a leather thing so we can use it. Um, the medium cap we will not use it because it does have metal at least it uses metal to craft so it just makes sense okay they are losing aggro quite fast this guy recovered all his hp i just wanted to check on that Ouch. 
right. I think we're doing it. This guy doesn't... Uh, don't go away now, you're almost dead. Oh, he went away anyway. And yeah, the other guy was already dead. A steel trident. It would be really good for us if we used steel stuff. Unfortunately, we don't. Uh, we'll take the tent as well, since we're not going to be much of a crafter. Maybe the tent will come in handy. Hmm. Okay, that wasn't even the main camp. What we're going to do is craft uh, three more of these. Why not? And okay. It's an archer. <laughs> Not too many guys now. That's not going to stop us from fighting them, but still, we have to be extra careful. They're flying bleed stacks to both of them. Which is... Whoops, no, we didn't have... Uh, we need some... Oh, we need... Uh... Okay. Dudes, let me repair my weapon. Previously, you didn't need the twines to actually repair the weapon. So... It was feeling quite safe in that regard. This guy's followed us all the way down here. He's going to die alone. Your friends made a smart choice and went back. Okay, some more metal stuff that we are not going to take. Well, this is kind of nice. We kind of make a lot of decisions for us. This not being able to use the metal. We could be trying to get some bones out of these guys. Damn it. Didn't mean to do that. Human flesh. Oh yeah, there's some bones. Nice. The hides we will also be able to use. Uh, but we did get a bunch of human flesh that we don't actually want. Okay. We aggroed a whole bunch of guys that we don't want to be fighting. Maybe we need to eat some, some human flesh because it's going to be kind of rough to find food out here. Actually, we can only eat what we hunt, so we might not have a choice in that regard because we're not going to eat some cooked fish we just found on a corpse. That's not the Pictish way. If we eat this, we're going to get food poisoning. Does it stack the food poisoning? You picked the wrong camp, mate. This is going to screw up our stamina regen, right? One's dead. Let's finally deal with this archer because she's been pissing us off for quite a while now. That is it. Let's see. We did gain a level. Let's see what we get here. 
Another potion, which is nice. First mate's report, we'll read it later. Uh, gold coins. I guess we have to take those because we, if we want to make alchemical base, we're going to need it. So. Uh, what? Let's drink a potion. I'm not sure why I couldn't put that potion here. Maybe it was a different grade. Okay, I don't exactly remember where the recipe was. I know it's in this camp. What do we find here? Three weathered skulls. Uh, some cool stuff, but... I mean, we'll, we'll take some jars. Uh, yeah. This is it. This is what we came for. That guy is an archer. Uh, we, we learned it, right? Yeah. Should we... Yeah, let's... Let's finish clearing this camp. We might find some good things over here. Probably not. Okay, there's more guys coming. Let's fight behind these things so we don't get hit by arrows. Well, this guy is dead from the bleeds and our weapon's almost broken again. So let's see if we can get something from this guy that we can use. A cutlass would be a thing that we could use, but... There are rules. Okay. Now what we want to do is keep heading north. Uh, which is basically this direction. There is Silas's base. Uh, it's a big structure. Never fully finished it, which is unfortunate, but... Uh-oh. Oh, okay. It's very easy to invade your base, Silas. I'm not sure what you were thinking about this setup, but it's it's fine, it's fine. Not here to, to attack you in any way, so... Okay, um... Oh, there's a new camp there. No, that's, and that's one of Silas's camps. <laughs> uh, okay. it's, it's not a new camp. I actually made that one. Let's make a fireplace here. Oh, we need to learn primitive cook. Okay, we have some fuel, we have some meat, we did have some food on us that we didn't know. The bugs we can throw away, uh, we can use one of these here, why not? For the early game it's quite cool that we can use these armor repair kits on just some makeshift armor we can gather. Uh, okay, we have seven stakes and it should be enough let's pick up the camp okay we have a wolf after us it's going all the way from there so if we run away we might be able to keep a distance now the bear is a different story but if I could grab a small bear or a small wolf, we could start our animal army quite soon, which would be really cool. But I don't think there's baby bears. Well, there's one over there, but I don't, I'm not going to go all the way back there. There's a recipe for cooking there but it's not one that we want right away so i'm just going to bypass it and keep going towards where we want to build actually a bear for tanking 
wouldn't be too bad if we go into the Jebel Zak dungeon. We can make some maybe medium leather armors. What weapons would we get? We don't have any mid-tier weapons that we can use, do we? I was thinking like it's not a big deal because we can go for dragon bone weapons, but that's level 60 stuff. So until we get there, what's our plan? Okay, the baby bears usually are just up ahead. Yeah, there's mama bear. Let's oh there's two. It's mom and dad. Probably shouldn't be fighting these two at the same time. Yep, I'm probably correct. Let's drink a potion and maybe make a run for it. Grab a baby. Hope we don't get over encumbered, but that's a possibility. We didn't. That worked out nicely. We are at River's End. We're going to go down. There's, there's a box somewhere. Not sure what this box usually has, but we will find out. It's taking a long time for you to get to the bottom and I'm going to run out of breath. So I'm just going to I'm going to go up, so I don't die. Okay, we didn't die. And then we're going to check. There's... I, I didn't want to pick all because I was going to run out of um, encumbrance. Snake Idol seems something that we would like. Ivory Horn as well. We'll take one. Oh, oh. Oh, that was a lot scarier than it should have been. Anyway. We got some cool stuff. That's what matters. Some of you might have picked up on that already, but I am heading towards the crevice. It is a popular base location. For those of you who don't know why, you'll see. But I kind of never know where the entrance is exactly. Usually because every time it has been built. The crevice. Look at this place. This place is awesome for a base. It's well protected, it's cavey, you have an entrance here for a little garden. Look, this is like a sinkhole over here. I mean, yeah, I really like, I always wanted to make a base in this place. Okay guys, so this is it for this episode and the introduction of our new character Brynja. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Any comments or suggestions are very welcome in the comments below. Thank you so much for hanging out and I'll see you in the next one.